This is just an opportunity for me to explain what we do, why we are here today, and how delighted we are to be working with CHC on this event. As you can see, we've set ourselves quite a challenging mission. I mean, um, it says here that we're leading 60 million citizens, everybody in the UK, to act on climate change, to help everybody using energy efficiently. So, initially, we look like a consumer facing organisation. We're working with everybody, and we you know everybody in this room in their role as consumers, let alone what they do in their job. And so, we're focusing on over the next, you know, toward working towards the target that everybody talks about is 2050 is that every home is a low carbon home. If you are a devotee of Red Dragon Radio or you have been reading a, a range of media, you will have seen our recent new campaign. So you'll actually have a fairly good idea of who we are and what we do. Um, I think the phrase is we don't save newts or whales, we help people save energy. We are known as the organisation, the independent experts that you ring that can help you save money on your bills. And so the challenge for us over the next few years is to move people focusing away from saving money on their bills to the effect that they are having through their carbon emissions on the environment. And it's a journey rather than a one-off, if I put in loft insulation, that will do the job. Our job is to actually move them to start thinking much wider. So, how, so what do we do um, to help people on this journey? <coughs> So we start by looking at tackling energy saving behaviour. So if somebody rings us, they say, I want to reduce money on our bill, on my bill, it's really expensive, what can I do? We will give them tailored, specific advice about how they can save energy in their home through insulation, through behavioural change, through, source, um, through making travel choices that are more sustainable, looking at the whole impact that they are having on the environment. Reducing the energy consumption in the home does mean changing behaviours, not just the fabric of what we do. And what's coming out very clearly in the research that we're doing, that saving and reducing the amount of water we use and reducing the waste that we produce has a very significant impact on our carbon emissions. And that's been quite a surprising figure for us. Uh, we thought, you know, that obviously the main impact of reducing waste is, is the um, obvious ones, but it's actually a significant source of carbon savings. And this is why our advice centres over the next couple of years are really moving to give that wider advice, rather than just focusing on what people can do on energy in their own homes. How do we do this? Our free phone um, advice network gives tailored local advice to people when they contact us. We are hoping to reach 82,500 people in Wales this year. That's a significant number. That's nearly one in 12 households. And our target this year is to raise to save almost 200,000 lifetime tons of carbon. We're doing this through um, going to a series of events. We have a significant direct mail campaign. We have advertising, as, as you may have seen, that encourages people to contact us. Our website is extensive. We have over 20,000 pages of information on our website. Now, some of it is going to be very technical, but we've in particular focused on our consumer-facing pages, making them easy to use. And we've been working very closely with DEFRIN and have their carbon calculator that people can go to our website, fill in a bit of it, go away and think about things, save it, come back, and that they will help them guide them on a journey of a number of actions rather than just a single one-off measure installation. I spend a lot of time working with the media. In fact, I was on um, BBC Radio Wells at 10 to 7 this morning um, talking about the conference here, but also managing to put across key messages to people on low cost or no cost things they can do in their own home. I managed to get across today the messages on turning your TV off standby and only boil as much water as you need in your kettle. I've, I've, um, we, we've been on from s 4 c to Mosquito, we've done phone-ins on Jamie and Louise on, on Radio Wales, I've been sat down with Jamie giving advice on, on, the, good, on the evening news. And we do a lot of work trying to get those key messages across to people in a way that they will understand and take them on board. And in particular, and why we are here today, and why we are working with CHC Cymru is because we work with a wide range of organisations that can help us or that we can help. As I said, what, we've, what I have focused on in the last couple of minutes is mainly behavioural change issues, but the fabric of the buildings that we live in is absolutely vital. Social housing represents 20% of the housing in Wales, and that has to reach higher and improving levels of energy efficiency, just the same way as owner-occupied or the private rented sector does. And 
because we are the independent experts on how you can save energy in your home and how you can refurbish your home or, or build to a new home, uh, build a new home to the new standards, we have a wide range of information and support out there. In a moment, Matt's going to talk about the current services that we provide and the huge amount of technical guidance and support that we can provide housing associations. But in addition, I'd also like to give a plea that, you can, that this afternoon you really take the open space sessions to give us some feedback on how we can improve what we do and how we can support housing associations and local authorities in a, you know, what, what else can we do because we are very much a resource for your organisations. So I'm really interested in what's going to come out of those. And so please, you know, feel free to give feedback throughout the afternoon. But as I said, Matt works on our housing development programmes and he's going to talk in a bit more detail about our current services and advice.